buy Brintech here where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the first Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11, 24 and 25H2, which rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. And the updates that rolled out on the second Tuesday of the month are compulsory, so they will be downloaded automatically. And for January, we get KB5074109, and that will bump the build up to 26,200.7623 for Windows 11 25H2. And if you're running 24H2, that build will be bumped up to 26,100. 0.7623. Now the update addresses a total of 114 vulnerabilities as I've been mentioning in my previous videos today and that's not just on Windows that's across the Microsoft ecosystem but the important part with this update is that it addresses three zero-day security flaws which means those flaws are out there current and happening so they are exploited already so this is an important security update and they are critical zero day flaws so that's your highest rated vulnerability listed as elevation of privilege vulnerability there's a security vulnerability in the windows core sql light component that's been patched which is been exploited and there's a secure boot bypass that's been exploited so three zero days have been patched and then over and above that, we also get another five critical severity vulnerabilities that have also been patched. So an important security update for Windows 11, 24 and 25 H2. Now over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, Microsoft has rolled out a couple of bug fixes and some changes. And the first two bug fixes are addressing networking known issues. So that's good news when Microsoft starts fixing known issues. And the first known issue that's been fixed is Microsoft says the update addresses an issue where mirrored networking in Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, could fail causing no route to host errors and preventing access to corporate resources over VPN connectors, even when the Windows host remained connected and that's a known issue mainly affecting corporations and enterprises but nonetheless still nice to see that fixed and then the second known issue is the update addresses an issue where you might experience remote app connection failures in azure virtual desktop environments and this might occur after installing kb5070311 so two networking known issues have been patched which is always nice to see and there's a power and battery fix where the update addresses an issue where devices with a neural processing unit, NPU, might stay powered on when idle. This could obviously affect power performance and devices with a NPU are your Copilot plus PC, so that's hardware specific. And then the Windows Core component, WinSQ Lite 3.dll has been updated. Previously, Microsoft said that some security software might have detected this component as vulnerable. So that's another fix taking place under the hood. So those are the fixes that have rolled out. And then we get three changes which are rolling out across the board across Windows 10 and Windows 11. And just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. The update removes the following older modem drivers, which are these four drivers with Microsoft saying that modem hardware dependent on these specific drivers will no longer work in Windows. So just take note of that if you are affected. And then, as I've posted in a previous video, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft has started automatically replacing expiring secure boot certificates. Check the video out. It'll be linked if you would like some more information. But this is affecting all Windows users. And Microsoft says that starting with this update, Windows quality updates include a subset of high confidence device targeting data that identifies devices eligible to automatically receive new secure boot certificates. Microsoft says that devices will receive the new certificates only after demonstrating sufficient successful update signals ensuring a safe and phased deployment. So Microsoft is doing that with a phased controlled approach. Check the video out for more information. 
And then the third and final change is the update introduces a change in behavior in which WDS, which stands for Windows Deployment Services, will stop supporting hands-free deployment functionality by default. So not just a security update, a couple of changes and some bug fixes rolling out in our latest patch Tuesday update for Windows 11, 24 and 25H2, KB5074, 109 and i certainly hope with this update that we are not going to get any new known issues that the update introduces or any bugs and glitches i certainly hope that the update is rolling out fine across the board so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one